Jeffcoat here with John Jeffcoat, filmmaker who just recently finished a great film called Outsourced, covering the adventures of an expat worker in India. I love the film, I love the soundtrack. Uh, tell me, how did this thing come about? It all stems back to some time I think I spent in Nepal uh, in a cultural immersion program. So I went to, I basically just, in college, I wanted to go somewhere that didn't speak English. And uh, I chose Nepal. I was there for five months, uh, just living in a mud hut for a while, living in Kathmandu for a while, and just having a, just a very different kind of experience. And when I came back to the U.S., I found that it was really difficult to try to explain the experience I had to my friends. It was just, they just couldn't comprehend some of the, and it was also the first time um, that I had really experienced America from a foreigner's point of view, from a foreign, foreigner's perspective, and it really made me think about just about every aspect of my life and the way I lived. And um, anyway, I filed that experience away, and later I went decided, I'd always wanted to go back to India, and I hadn't made it to India, and I got some grant money to go do a documentary on Bollywood, on the Indian film industry. How'd you get the grant money? Uh, through it's all local through local resources. I, I mostly from everything from Seattle Arts Commission to uh, King County to uh, what used to be the uh, humanities media thing, mm -hmm. which gave me a big grant. And I, but I, I, <laughs> it's a long story. I'll go into that later. Um, but uh, so and the idea again was to use the film industry as sort of a window on the culture to, to sh for an American audience. Um, and in my experiences traveling in India and then also traveling in Nepal, there was a lot of similar, um, similar experiences. And also exploring the Indian film industry made me realize there was a potential to shoot a low budget feature on film uh, in India. And so the idea, I came back with the idea of like, okay, what kind of movie could I shoot in India? And at the time, I met my co-writer, George Wing, who was a successful LA screenwriter. And he has been really trying to get me to stay in Seattle and, you know, collaborate on some kind of project here. We pitched ideas back and forth. And I think at one point, I, I just thought, um, I've been listening to NPR a lot, and you hear these stories about outsourcing, and these Indians are coming over and training Americans to replace them. And at some point, I just thought, well, what if we switched that and actually had the Americans sent to India to train us on replacement? And so I got the idea of this American who works for like a novelty company that's like things like cheese head hats and burger brands. I love that. And uh, and so this guy basically gets sent to India to train his re train his replacement and also to teach these workers about American culture and about America and the mean and, you know and also then he in turn is sort of learns about India, and which informs his sort of it, it, India sort of deconstructs this guy and he's forced to rethink his life and, and um, before he's eventually going to head back to the U.S. And uh, I pitched it to George, and he loved the idea, and we went and we, we wrote it, and we brought the idea to some of his contacts in L.A. to try to get financing. The unfortunate thing was uh, the first thing to go was me as a director. No one was interested in the first-time director directing this thing. So they liked the property, they liked the, they liked the script, but they didn't particularly want me involved. So we started going out to other directors and actors, and that was a little bit depressing. And then we it finally kind of came back to Shadowcatcher Entertainment, who are based in Seattle, who did a film called Smoke Signals, had read the script, and were the first producers to come back with some really good notes. They actually, these guys had read the script, they understood the story, they wanted to tell the same story that we wanted to, and they also believed in me directing the film. Uh, so we were able to get out of the LA deals that were kind of going on and uh, work with Shadowcatcher to make this film. And that is sort of the, basically how, how it came to be. What did it feel like? It's one thing to direct a, your first film in your neighborhood, you know, with your friends and make some mistakes. Mm -hmm. and how did it feel to actually be directing your first film with actors in that setting in India? You know, it was, the funny thing was, you know, I think I was so excited to be doing this film and doing this film that I co-wrote that I knew so well. So much of it was based on my experiences and then also, you know, through the process of writing with George. I was very close to the material, so that, that made me feel very confident about it and comfortable with it. Um, the idea of going to India, I actually did plan a trip a couple months before I went to shoot just to kind of get myself reacclimated and spent a month there traveling and waited so it wasn't going to be too much of a shock because it is a, a huge change working there as it, than it is here. Um,